Hi class, this is what we call rotary evaporation, the sequel. We forgot to tell you how to take the sample off the rotovap. So first I'm going, to rotav I'm going to review putting the sample on the rotovap. So you take your flask, put it up on the joint, take a clip, put the clip on the joint, then you reach up, grab the stopcock, and turn it 90 degrees, then turn the rotor up so that it's rotating really fast, as I told you in my last one, and then lower the sample into the water. Okay, now, when you are finished, you will see a solid depositing out on the flask, and we put some solid in here to demonstrate that. To get the sample off the rotovap, what you do is lift the sample out of the water, turn the rotor off, so it's really the reverse of what you did before, reach up and turn the stopcock so that you hear the air sucking in through this little vent. So this is closed, this is open. When it's open, you should hear the air coming through. This puts it at 760 torr. At 760 torr, you can get the sample off. To get it off, take the clip off. It by jiggling, it should come off, but if it doesn't come off, you can use this, whoops, <laughs> this plastic piece here, just roll it down, and the sample will come right off. Okay, so that's it for Rotovap. <laughs> that was okay. okay. So I'll see if that.